What's up guys? Uh, here I have my VNC connection tunneled through SSH. You can watch the video that I'm gonna put in the cards for you about it. But that's not what I'm gonna show you in this video. I'm gonna show you what the title says. So here is my desktop environment. The one that runs TDE, Trinity Desktop Environment, which is the fork of KDE3. Uh, focus here, don't focus on the one below. We go to uh, this one, administra administrator settings, Yast. The, this prompt for the password, you put your own password. And then we go to software management. Or you can yourself go directly to uh, system and uh, this one, yeah, this one or this one, both they take you to the same place, okay? Software management and software manager, they will give you the same window. And then we go to view patterns, we scroll down to Scroll down or yeah, file server, and then you uh, uh, right click and select keep, and then this one also keep, and then this one keep. I have them already installed and I have selected all of them and did the changes on the system, that's why I don't need to do it again. For you, you need to do all of those. I will repeat again for yeah this one also I forgot it. You select right click and select keep. Okay, so this one NFS kernel server, NFS ID map, and then patterns file uh, server file server this one, and then yes to NFS server this one you need it because it's gonna give you the window that I'm gonna show you right now. Otherwise, you will not be able to do some of the configurations that I'm going to show you. You better select this one. R right click and select keep. And then you select accept. You click on accept. It's going to do the changes and everything. For me, that doesn't have anything to do. That's why it, it uh, got out immediately. And then we go to network services. You scroll down in this window. Or you go to network services directly and select NFS server okay and then here you select start you keep enable nfs v4 you don't need to change the nfs v4 domain name you don't i'm, I'm not gonna set up uh, kerberos security you can do such thing we may make it in a future video so you click next after you do exactly the same steps i have shown you now Click next. This window, if you do not select in the software management, if you do not select yes to NFS server, you will not be able to get this window and you will not be able to find it as a shortcut in your network services. And then here you select the directories that you would like to share. In my case, I have in the root partition a sub volume that I made, which is very similar to a folder, NFS-data, and I have this export which is also, I made it as a ButterFS sub-volume, you can make it a plain directory and it's going to work for you. So you select this one, and then you, you select finish. You wait some time for it. Alright. And then, that's not everything, I have here an SSH connection to my uh, OpenSUSE system. So you open the ports 2000. 49 TCP and UDP and uh, to 20,048 TCP and UDP like this since uh, OpenSUSE uses firewall D 2049 UDP same command TCP using the up arrow and then 20,048 TCP I have already enabled them but I want to show you how and then UDP 
and then the services you can do that permanently if you want by adding the argument permanent the services mount d you can do to all these commands permanent to make that permanent if you want but i don't want that's why i'm, I'm gonna run them like this and then nfs after that you go to slash etc using your best or favorite text editor or whichever one you want you go to slash etc slash export to be able to uh, read and write from those nfs paths and then you take the id of your user by running the command id username in my case it's 1000 and you add it to your paths like this these two ones this one i have two folders if you have more you add it to each one of them as i guess this one also and here you have rw although i put it i still cannot write to my nfs paths you save and exit after you do all of that you restart the service of your nfs server restart by running this command nfs server you double check if it's running and you can see for me it's running all right next thing is you mount on your remote machine this is now the nfs client you run the command sudo mount the ip address of your server and then the path in my case it's like that and then the path where you want to mount that nfs storage in my case i'm gonna mount it in this path you put the password since you are using the root privileges like this and if we go and check here we are supposed to find it and here it is like mounted here missions let's try to copy a file to it like this copy and paste and it's being copied and pasted that proves that we have the read and write permissions make sure in your uh, slash etc slash exports to add the ID of your user, otherwise you may not be able to write. For reading, you can read even without putting that. Okay, so you can see that I can copy and paste there. Okay, that was how you can set up NFS server without Kerberos for sure. For Kerberos, we may make a future video about it, and how you can set it to be uh, writable on your NFS client. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment if you are interested in a similar content. Thank you for watching and cheers.